video is sponsored by Wix Filters, manufacturers of filters for automobiles, trucks, off-road equipment, and manufacturing applications. Go to wixfilters.com for more information. Hello and welcome to Rolling with the Numbers, where we aim to keep your tire business rolling with market-based data and research conducted with our independent tire dealer audience. I'm your host, David Sickles. And I'm your co-host, Maddie Weiner. So Maddie, what are we getting into today? Well, this month, we're presenting data in the areas of productivity and shop operations based on the recent survey results we received from our audience. And we're presenting it all in just three minutes. We're doing this all in three minutes? Yeah. Uh, you never told me that. Why? Because, David, tire dealers are busy. We can't just jabber on all day. This is about efficiency. Yeah, but this is a lot of data. Yeah, and we're going to present it in three minutes. And we're still going to give all the context and all that jazz, yeah? Yeah. Okay. We asked tire dealers what they've done in the past three years to improve the efficiency of their shop's operations. Nearly three quarters at 72% said they needed to update their shop equipment to work faster. Just look at Ronnie Lefevers of Tires Plus Tire Pros in Morgantown, North Carolina. Opening his latest shop in July 2020, during the pandemic, might I add, Ronnie didn't want any excuse to turn down a customer. He bought the latest equipment, which gives his team the power to work efficiently, whatever the job may be. Alignments, muffler replacement, original and custom exhaust installation, oil changes, tune-ups, brakes. That is a lot of tire firepower. And I'm not done. Hitches, transmission repair, engine repair, battery replacement, state safety and emissions inspections. Maddie. Oh, right. The, my point is, with all that opportunity, Ronnie says he was able to be there for customers when they needed him the most. And you know what else presents opportunity? What's that, Maddie? Technician training. Oh, you're referring to the 52% who said they invested in training for their techs. Now, on average, those dealers surveyed have about six or seven techs working in their shops, but we also had a few tire dealers tell us that they have 18 or more. Can't that kind of training get a bit pricey? Well, it's not like every tech in the shop has to be ASC certified. Our results show 47% of dealers surveyed have two or more ASC certified technicians. That's true. And when you look to the dealers we talk to, regular training seems to pay off. Brian Weber of Weber Automotive in North Olmsted, Ohio, requires that each of his techs have 40 hours of continuing education every year. And not only does his business maintain a 4.8 star rating on Google, he says his shop is expanding like crazy, offering more products and services to stack up more of those benches. Sounds worth it to me. Speaking of boosting shop efficiency, our survey found that 33% of dealers that said that they implemented online appointments, important in general, but very important during the pandemic. And 32% say they installed new shop management software in the last three years. Now don't overlook that last one, Maddie. Why's that? Well, I just recently talked to John Langerak of Wonderland Tire out of Michigan, and after researching and shopping for the right system for about four years, he says it's paying off big time. He says it streamlined and improved the front counter customer experience, made quoting and billing mechanical services easier and quicker, improved ordering and receiving, and eliminated a huge amount of redundancy and back office paperwork. And that means more time to focus on the actual work that makes them money. Precisely. So it sounds like, to me, the name of the game is tire dealers finding ways to open their shops up to more opportunities for profit. Absolutely. And, well, it looks like that's our three minutes. See, I told you we could do this all in three minutes. Yeah, but what happens when we have even more data? I think this worked. Are you in for another three minutes of mayhem next month? Okay. For more business intelligence data to help boost tire dealer profitability, be sure to watch out for our next episode of Rolling with the Numbers, where we delve into data around shop management and hiring practices. If you subscribe to our newsletter, don't worry, it'll be in there too. You won't miss it. Until next time, keep, keep on, on rolling. rolling.